his heart. So, Jadeh Goswami to please Krishna and Radhika. A very good song he has done, Gita Govinda. Patrak is very deep, very deep, beyond our limitation of our Dheera Samire Jamuna Tire Vasati Bane Vanamali. Oh, you know Vanamali? Who is he? Oh, very long. Cross, <laughs> very chameli doing. And some lips, very soft. soft. <laughs> Srimati Radhika with her own hand, he has made it and made it. So, Vanamali is very beautiful, but where he is? Where he is? Jamuna Tire. Jamuna Tire. On the bank of very beautiful, crooked Jamuna. And in a room, he is there. Waiting is done for for any his heart. He cannot express Vasati Bhane and Mahati. Why? For this that people is done. Hare Diha. Diha Rati. Hare Hare Diha. Sara Sara Sara. Oh, time is Vasanta. Spring time. All kinds of flowers, whether in winter, whether in summer, in rainy or in all are sanitation in Full of that flowers. Sarasa. Sarasa is full of and Hari, who can uh, take the heart of all the gopis, especially of Lord. That is Hari, Krishna, and Mali. He can be waiting, or sometimes weeping. Now Radhika has come. And he is dancing. He is for And he is giving a sadhu bhakti. Praising Srimati Radhika. Radhika and all the people. Hari Karkal tal balay nukunal. Karkal tal nukun balay adari. These are of Radhika, right? Very good tune of Kalpa. And both are singing. See, Krishna sings in fifth Sare Gama. And Radhika didn't from there. Sare <laughs> Gama Padhari. And Krishna. Very interesting. <laughs> if you want to make your heart search, then soon Madhur Kumala Kanta Padavali Sijay. If you want to make your heart full of rush, full of fly, and to search and to understand the Kala Vilasa of Radhika Krishna. But in the guidance of my Kulasa, any Vaishnava. Like Chaitanya Mahapur, like to sing all these things, or in the guidance of whom? Lalita Visarka, that is? Thank you. No. This is our end. This is the end of the Today we will discuss about the process, how time to do it. Thank you.
you cannot see sun. But when the Masiya come, will come, all everything will be eliminated. Similarly, if Krishna is happy, <coughs> then you can be So Jayatma Samprasidati, by both, the soul and sense soul, can be happy only by birth. On the other side, continually Sarghisa. This is Pavo Dharma. This is the Supreme Religion. Supreme Religion of all. But now, like Kalju, we are all covered with Kalju. What is that and sense gratification? And that is why we are not happy. So we we'll have to. Sarva Adhokkhaji. But who is Adhokkhaji Hari? Ete Chan Sakala Kumsa Krishna Stu Bhagavan Indraya Vyakura Nirayan Tehre Oh, Supreme God. Sain Bhagavan. Yeho Krishna Himsa. And other offshoot manifestations. Like Narayan, Ram, and others are very, very unpowerful. But Krishna has four qualities extra. Extra. Rupa Madhuri, Guru Madhuri, Lila Madhuri, and Sri Madhuri. Any of his Formation for all, anyone of manifestation, even wrong, even Varka Krishna. Mathuresh Krishna has no fruit. Oh, he cannot. He is not fond of gopis. Gopis cannot see even that, that Krishna. So, O oh Krishna. Then how to please him? Anna Pilasita Sunya Jnana Karma Jnana Pritam Anurvena Krishna Bhakti Now, our aim and object, we are decided. Like in Srimad Bhagavatam, we come to Kalpa Kalpa. And by knowledge and gas, somebody not told to gas. I know why you are not satisfied. Even you have done Brahma Sutra and everything, Srimad Bhagavatam and all this. And you can, O Krishna, he was Rakhil Rasam, it's simple. Have you described anywhere that he can be controlled by Bhaskaras? Sakrasu, but more by what? Open goal, that is, that mood of Parthiya Bhav. Have you written? And what you have written? I don't know. Have you written that Rama was not binded by men, anyone? Narayan cannot be bounded, but Yasoda Mahadar? Banded him and he was beaten and he was chest, she was chastising him, the Supreme Lord. Have you written? No. No, I have not. you have written? Have you written that? Oh, this Supreme Lord, full of appliances, very beautiful, four qualities, a special are there. What? Ru, Gun, Lila, and Vedra. Even that. Supreme Lord of gifts is great only. Lord is feet of Srimati Rasa. Have you written? I don't know. Then what you know? Oh, you should write all this. But how can it? Oh, well, it can be known by Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti Yoga. But surrender. I know what is Bhakti. Then what is Bhakti? 
Silarup Goswami has concluded all the definitions of previous Pachatis. Narad, Sandil, Parashar, and all that goes at the project. And he made it a very excellent. And what was that? Anya Vlasita Sunya, Jnana Karma Jnana Pritam, Anupurne Krishnamuchi, Bhakti Jnana Krishnamuchi. This is it. Its last mode is Madana mode. And last faction is Shatta. First we should know what is what we have been explain so many times. But now, here also there are so many that not, not happened. If even her, but not realize, this is the parameter of all bhakti, beginning from Sattva to Madhana. So, this is, what is the meaning? Paranyamaha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you cannot understand, you can ask. This is like a class. This is not a class. Oh, Jyati Narayasa, Jyananda Salaka, Shri Guru Kumar Mitra briefly described the meaning of Sri Rupa Goswami Pad's unprecedented and fully comprehensive definition of Shri Bhakti, Uttama Bhakti, Anyabila Shitashanyam, Jnana Kamat Dhinavirtam, Anupu Yena Krishna Anushinam, Bhakti Uttama. The verse is divided into two parts. First part describes the Tathasalakshan, or the extrinsic characteristics of Uttama Bhakti. In other words, what Uttama Bhakti isn't. Hmm? And the second part of the verse describes Swarplakshan of Bhakti, that is, exactly what Uttama Bhakti is. Hmm? So, here, Bhakti has been described as Anupu Yena Krishna Anushlana. The I interrupt you. Be careful. I can ask from anyone what he said. And if you will not answer them, I will take you. Very carefully you should. Anyone, I will let uh, give up on my daughters. I can ask from them also. They are presently and very. They are Anushalanam. Means. Here, you can give here. means the continuous, uninterrupted, or unbroken flow of all endeavors of the body, mind, words, and of internal emotions, transcendental sentiments. Here, unbroken or in, uninterrupted indicates that the chitabriti, the tendency of the heart, of the body, mind and words, should flow like a flow of honey from a jar. When we pour water, it may splash here and there, but when we pour honey, it comes out in one thick, unbroken stream. So it is the small luxury, the intrinsic characteristic of Uttama Bhakti, that all the endeavors of the body, mind, words, and internal moods are flowing in a thick stream which is completely unbroken into, in the service of Krishna. The word anu in anushinana, this prefix, indicates that it should be continuous and it should be anugatya. That means under guidance of a liberated acharya, a perfect devotee. Because the conditioned soul in this world he is, has no relation with Krishna, but if his activities are directed towards the servant of Krishna who has appeared in this world, then his activities can be Krishna Anushinanam, or in connection with Krishna. So it's very important 
that all the activities of bhakti should be performed under the guidance of a devotee who is perfectly established in his relationship with Krishna. Otherwise, it will fall outside of the definition of pure bhakti. So, these endeavors are nivriti atma kachastarupa and praviti atma kachastarupa. That means of a positive nature and a negative nature. In other words, only to very enthusiastically engage oneself in all of the angas of bhakti, such as Sravanam, Kirtan, and Vishnu Swaran, is not enough. One should also very enthusiastically avoid, like the plague, anything which is against bhakti, anything which is unfavorable to bhakti. Atyahara, Priyasa, Chakra, Dhamma, all these things. Bad association, speaking the mundane talk. Think what is bad association? Bad association is of two types. One type is the association of Maya bodies, and the other type is the association of ladies or for ladies of men, or the association of men who are attached to ladies, and vice versa. These two types of association are completely destructive. Impersonist, Maya bodies, and those who are attached to the opposite sex. So, one should make a very hard endeavor to avoid the things which will destroy bhakti and make a very strong endeavor to accept and follow those practices which are favorable for bhakti. And when this is done continuously by the body, mind and words, being under guidance of a perfect devotee, then it can be called Krishna Anushilana. The a word has been used here. What is the best favorable uh, thing that we should, we must <laughs> the most favorable thing is Sadhu Sonda. What kind of sadhu? <laughs> there are many types of sadhu. But the best sadhu oh, is that sadhu who is completely internally absorbed in following and serving the moods of. Srila Rupa Goswami Pai. Sajati Yasuni. Srimad Bhagavata Nam Asura Rasika Saha. Sajati Asai Snik Day Sadhu Sangha Satogare. Srila Rupa Goswami Pai. In describing the 64 angles of bhakti, explains this one, number 61. Srimad Bhagavata Nam Asura Rasika Saha. One should taste, one should relish the meaning of Srimad Bhagavata, or as we are doing today in the association of a Rasik Vaishnav. A Rasik. Oh, who is Rasik? Not who is in Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhavmai Bhakti. But more than that, Rasamai Bhakti. Those actually relishing the transcendental levels, they're called a Rasik. And of the angles of Bhakti, number 61, first of all, try to relish the meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam in the association of such a Vaishnav. And Sajataya Shaye Snik De Sadhu Sangha Sutmobare. Sadhu Sangha has three important features. Sutmobare means that that Sadhu must be more advanced than yourself. Oh, if you have risen and come to the level of being Rasik, then he should be more Rasik. So, whichever stage one is in, oh, he should be more. That means Bare, superior to oneself. And Snigda. Snigda means very affectionate. But specifically, Snigda means that that person with whom you are associating has selected you to be his Dayabhak. Dayabhak means that person who will inherit the treasure within his heart. So when we have the association of a Vaishnav who has selected us, oh, I want to make you the heir to the treasure which I have in my heart, then that Vaishnava association is called Snigda, very affectionate interested in our spiritual life. And the third qualification, Sajatya. Sajatya means who is perfectly established in that mood for which you are aspiring. If you are aspiring to serve Radha and Krishna or Krishna Chandra in Vrindavan, in the mood of the Sakas, the friends, then you should hear from and associate with a sadhu who internally is realized in that Sakyarasa. If one wants to serve Radha and Krishna under the guidance of Sri Rupa Manjuri, then one should associate with the sadhu who is perfectly serving Radha and Krishna under the guidance of Sri Rupa Manjuri. So whatever is your aim and object, try to be in the association of the devotee who is perfect in that mood, and by that association, 
one can make very rapid advancements. So, Anukoviyena Krishna, Mushirana, Bhakti, Uttama, all the endeavors of body, mind, and words, and of internal sentiments, which are meant exclusively for the benefit, for the kalyan of Krishna. In other words, Anukul, there is, your mood is completely devoid of any unfavorable elements. Pratikul Bhav Rahita, this is the meaning of Anukul. There is no unfavorable mood in your activities towards Krishna. Then this acti this uh, definition defines the intrinsic characteristic of Uttam Bhakti. Yet still, if one is observing these things, but he is not observing the Tathasta Lakshan, which is described in the first line, then his activity, it may be Bhakti, but it can be called Uttam Bhakti. It is Uttam Bhakti when the activity is also Anya Vilashita Shunyam, completely devoid of even a smell of the slightest desire for anything but the service of Krishna. And jnana kama jnana pritam. The activities that one is performing must not be covered by karma, jnana, adi, etc. What does it mean? Karma means when we perform some activities to get something in return. Mature sense gratification in return. And jnana means the knowledge by which one can become uh, liberated from this world and merge with uh, Brahma, Sayuja Mukti. Because one cannot be free from karma and jnana. You have to have some knowledge and you have to do some activity in the world, such as taking bath, passing through, breathing, lighting a fire for cooking. All of these things are karmas, activities. So therefore, karmas must be performed without desire for any gain, and then his activities in this world will not cover his bhakti. The word adi indicates etc. In other words, One's activity should not be covered by fruitive mentality, the desire for liberation, plus yoga, the desire to perform austerities, attain mystic powers, and uh, a dry renunciation, and all of these things which are outside the realm of the cultivation of activities which are specifically for Krishna's well-being. So when the Tathasta Lakshan, Anyagrasta Shunyam, Jnana Kamadina is present, for that person who is following the Swarup Lakshan, Anupulyena Krishna Mushilana, then his bhakti can be called Bhakti Uttama, or Transcendental Bhakti, that bhakti which is put beyond Tama, beyond the darkness of any type of material existence. Ani, Anubhatya, Whether we have bhakti or uttama bhakti or not. Even bhakti is rare. What to tell of uttama bhakti? After the road will come, rati will come then to uttama bhakti. Otherwise, no. And we have strength of truth. Now, this is the process. But you cannot realize without explanation more. We should begin from the very beginning point. The last fraction, last but more last, Fraction seed of bhakti. Even or brings any seed from market or any reliable source. And he plants in his heart. So when to go and beg for seed. Have you shut that? No, then go. You should get out from there. And if you have shut that, then come to me. I will give you seed. What is that seed? Oh, desire to serve Krishna. Desire to serve. This is the seed. Oh. 
There are so many symptoms, external and internal. Internal fatigue. We can or we can oh, only understand oh, external symptoms. That if anyone has planted, that's it from Guru Dev, taken from Guru Dev. First, plowing, plowing, proper plowing, make it is certain. And then keeping that seat. Then, five patterns, six kinds of sarnarati, first, it will be seen. First, and we, whether we have this sarnarati or not, and what is that? <coughs> oh, Anupulena Krishna. Oh, what is favorable for Krishna? To Sarva Krishna. Favorable for Bhakti. We say they strongly accept it. <coughs> and that is not favorable. We say they strongly accept it. First, association. My father, my mother, my wife, my children, my beloved, anyone else. But if not favorable, reject like stool. Very strongly. And what is unfavorable is to reject, and what is favorable is to reject. This shankal be there. And then, Prakshasati, my Supreme Lord, who is my versatile deity in my form, that is Krishna, all powerful, very sweet. He is very powerful. He can nourish and support us. He can save us from any kind of, any trouble, sufferings, or Danger. 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 You must know. Krishna. And then, taking this shape. <laughs> that is so awful. And if I will surrender myself, he must. <laughs> and then taking center. And then Atman Yeda. Atman will surrender fully. What you have? Your words, your body, your senses, everything. You cannot offer him. Your soul because you don't know what is so. You say, whether you want to offer him, dedicate yourself. But you cannot in these states. Malisha, upper states of table standard. But we cannot know in this state. By what name may tell? Oh, I am Saranagatam. I am Saranagatam. I am Saranagatam. Saranagatam. But you can understand. In the next moment, or oh, you think Gosha. How to be that? You can follow that. Like Arjuna, you can. Like Draupadi. Like Prabhupada Maharaj. Like Ambari Maharaj. Fire was coming. <coughs> They first coming and he was. What is standing? Oh, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. And Virata went. And that oh, fire was finished. So, you know, Draupadi, she was in the assembled whole gathering. And those are some you think. Power of 10,000 elephants. 10, he was touching cloth. But his hand, Prabhupada, was oh, well, not in our pressure. So, if you like that, and being humble, this is a this is the same time.
external symptom that she, if she has a then first a sprout like this. And then more. I may die. Anyone can cut me in pieces. So many rats and rats. But I cannot give chanting. Like Pranav and Pandas Kato. So you should be ready for this. What have you given for Krishna? First thing, Krishna wants so many things, fully dedication. Have you left your children, your father, mother? They love and affection all of your most beloved wife, children, position. What do you have? Prabhdhar Das Goswami, you know? Sukadev Goswami? Rupsanatan, all? You. If you have given such thing, then? Or you have. That's what you will do. That's what you will do. And that, oh, very strong, this will be come. That if anyone cut it, he says, I will not be. You know that I will not go. My soul is eternal. Anyone cannot touch. You know? So he has no what? Fear about it. Fear about it. So he is not. And what is that? Last fraction. Shraddha. Oh, you should define something. You should be speaking. Define something. Define something. Oh, you lost something. <laughs> we are telling all things for you. <laughs> oh, you should have told that, oh, I have no time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> 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 Be ready. For Bhakti, if anyone wants you one hostel. I shut off the phone. <laughs> what if your wife told you? <clears throat> so, Srila Gurudev is speaking about Shraddha and the definition of Shraddha as being the last particle, the, in other words, the very beginning seed stage of praying, that it is coming uh, in its very initial stages like a plant, like a seed which is planted within the heart. And <clears throat> Gurudev was explaining that when this uh, Shwadha is there, then Guru, he will plant this seed within the heart and he will give the seed of Bhakti, which is called Bhakti Lata Beach. The seed of the transcendental vine-like creeper of bhakti, of devotion. So, that, uh, that seed is actually the tendency in a, in a soul that I want to serve Krishna. It is called Krishna Seva Vasana. The tendency to serve Krishna. So, when someone has connected with Sri Guru Dev, then this seed will be there within the heart. And the external symptom is Shraddha. So Shraddha is defined. In general terms in English, we call it like faith. So Shraddha Shabde Vishwas Kode Sudridha Nishchai Krishna Bhakti Koyale Sarva Karma Kritahoy. Srila Krishna Das Kandidaj Goswami has told this definition in Chaitanya Charitamrita. The word Shraddha. Shraddha means Vishwas Kohe Sudridha Nishchai. That means that he is firmly, firmly convinced, Sudrita Nishtoy, completely convinced that uh, Krishna Bhakti Koyle, if I perform Bhakti to the lotus feet of Krishna, if I serve the lotus feet of Bhagavan, uh, then Sarva Karma Kritohoy, all of my other duties 
all of my other responsibilities within life, they are all automatically taken care of. I don't have to separately endeavor to try to accomplish them. Just like in Gita, Krishna is telling, Sarvadharman prityajya mam ekam sharanam braja. So here Krishna is telling all the conditioned souls that they should give up, they should abandon all other dharmas. This is referring to the material dharmas of this world, the responsibilities and duty to one's family, society, nation, etc., etc. So all of these dharmas are temporary dharmas. They have nothing to do with the eternal soul. And Krishna is telling to all jiva souls, sarva dharma prityaja man ekam shamanam braja, that you should simply surrender to me alone, and aham tvam sarva apedyo moksha ishyami. I, I will protect you. You don't have to worry about any other responsibilities if you will incur any kind of karma or sinful reactions from not taking care of those duties. I will protect you from them. Ma shuchaha. You don't have to worry or you don't have to fear. So here Krishna is telling that one should perform sharanagati, as Gurudev was defining the six limbs of sharanagati. And if someone has shodha, and if someone has this seed of bhakti planted within their heart, the symptom will be there, that he is performing sharanagati in his life. He has this firm conviction, I only have to serve Krishna, and everything else will be accomplished by this. So this is the very beginning stage of the pathway and the stages of development from shraddha all the way up to praying bhakti. is of two kinds. Shastra of Haranari and Mahabhu. No. First, Lokiti and second is Padma. Lokik Sattva cannot take you to go unnatural. Krishna Seva Bhasana. But if you have Lokik Sattva, if any your sadhu is coming to your house and you pay respect or give him some favorable things to him. Then by his association, oh, that locality sadhu can be considered karma. But karma chiki sadhu is needed. After that, karma chiki sadhu is needed of two kinds. Shastra Avadharana. Oh, Krishna has told that anyone serving their father, mother, wife, husband, children, serving his country, serving other things, so called services to all. Oh, it cannot save him. You will have to go to hell. Caring by this, Anyone wants to serve Krishna and Bhakti Yogi will serve. And Madhuti Mai Bhakti? Any more by this? Fortune? Past impression? Past impression of previous life. Then he goes to that kind of Associates. And he is sitting in the Council of Sula Sukhdev Goswami, in the Council of Rupa Goswami, in the Council of Vishwana Chakra, especially now there is the Bhakti Vedanta And then also our Gurudev and Chakra Bhakti Vedanta Swami. This is an the process. Is it? Oh, you should understand that there are so many worldly things, very necessary, but we can give up all bhakti. We don't want to lose a moment. Because all these things cannot make me happy or Krishna. So, you should understand it. 
that if anyone be in the council of life, Parikshit Maharaj, and so many more, 88,000 of Rishi Maharshi and so many more. Mayavadi also were there in the council of Sukhdev. And he was so powerful to inspire in the heart of all but you. But if you are not qualified even, you will go in very powerful association. Especially, I told you, oh, Shira, uh, Rupa Goswami Kamsi, Rati, Rupa Goswami, Chakravarti 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 and Mahabhur Jemai Mahabhur Jemai Shabha Anyhow, well, any continent you have both very rare, but anyhow for any of your past activities in Krishna or in the second part in Krishna you have that <coughs> transcendental Shabha but if not, it is not arised in Harikatha, Sarvanam, Kirtan, Vishnu, in the Council of Fire, that it may try. And it will not work fully. So both are Hari. I know so many. The Rishi of Bhakti Natashi. And so many, I think that in this council there are so many devotees who have come to chant, totally surrendered to their own day. Pila Bhakti De Ram Swami Maharaj, Yog Prabhupada. Right? Oh, anyone may question or have questions that why Narayan Maharaj don't tell Prabhupada? Hmm. Oh. Only stone leaders. But why then, and my question is that why they don't tell Kamal Krishna and others? Prabhupada. Prabhupada. Why they don't tell? Then they order the disciple to mm. address them. And what will be if they will call their Guru Dev Prabhupada? Then what will be? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what Guru Dev told me? And all the disciples of the Prabhupada, Sri Bhakti Siddhanta they told that everyone, all the disciples, they had right result, right result to tell their Gurudev Prabhupada. No one. All can They had right. No one can. Not opposite of Siddhanta. But even, oh, we had all the disciples of Siddha Bhakti Siddhanta who had made a sankal in order wow. that we will not take the title of Prabhupada. It would be reserved. And my Guru Devtan told, you can also tell me Prabhupada, but I tell that. Oh, try to obey me. So we are obeying other Guru Dev. Your Guru Dev told that you can tell me no harm, you can tell. Mm -hmm. But don't. Or expect. Uh, expect. Don't press me that you should also tell me. <laughs> I have more affection than Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. So much more. more. Mm -hmm. You can't imagine. imagine how I have love and affection and service to him. Mali, when speaking Prabhupada, Prabhupada will not do. <laughs> I know those who, those who always repeated Prabhupada, 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 Prabhupada in Kirtan, Prabhupada in Kirtan. Where they are now? No trace at all. All Prabhupada disciples. Where they are? They are against. No devotees at all. They can shine funny. They are doing that. They had doubt. 
That feather means omniscient. Or not? They are down. And for this now? Some say Adma bin Asafi. For the all. The main thing? Last sense gratification. Taking or oh, what? Fish and fish, eggs, wines and everything. So remember this. So what I was telling? Shraddha will go away if it's not water I don't like water. Ah, oh. If that kind of sadhana is attend anyhow, lucky, fortunate. But not water I not yet. Anusriya. Anu, what is the meaning of Anusriya? Nirantam. Continuous under guidance. And that is why it has been gone. But if your anath has gone, mostly. Even Shri Patam Sarva. Purna Samana Kirtana. You, all you can do. What is the meaning? 